Hi there, and welcome to Pimp Your Science. Let's now talk a bit about the importance of giving a scientific presentation or presenting a scientific poster, and let's discuss some advantages of these two forms of presentations. Let's make one thing clear. In 21st century, to be known as a scientist, you need to be seen and heard. To build a successful scientific career, you need to go to meetings and conferences and present your data. Some of you may actually now wonder, isn't hard work and publishing good in high-impact journals enough? And my short answer to that, no, it's not enough. We are witnessing a hyperinflation of number of journals and publications. If you look till now, there is around 30,000 journals and they publish in 2013 alone 1,100,000 papers. So this is a quite a big number to compete, even if you have a great paper in a prestigious journal. Of course, your argument would be, but these are all scientific fields. If you would focus on a one scientific field, the competition would be not so high. However, that's true. However, if you look, for example, in the Alzheimer field, it's already 9,000 papers in 2013. So again, even the competition is smaller, your paper can be easily overlooked. In addition, your career advancement depend on the decisions and the recommendation of PIs and professors that actually cannot anymore manage to critically survey the overwhelming literature. These people are now getting increasingly overwhelmed with work related to teaching, to writing grants, to writing and reviewing papers, to supervising their own students, and more and more administrative stuff. To serve the literature today, PIs and professors heavily rely on their postdocs, on their PhD students or master students. Nevertheless, this does not change the fact that these people are also overwhelmed by overwhelming literature and that your paper, again in their eyes, may be overlooked just because of the number of publications they need to go through in the full and scheduled working day. However, PIs and professors go to the meetings where they chat with their buddies about latest discoveries and work in their labs, they go to poster sessions and they go to listen to talks. So here is your chance to get their attention, either by presenting a great poster or presenting a great talk. If you do it right and get them excited about your work, PIs and professor will read your published work or at least glance through it on their, go on their way back home and of course then they will talk with their buddies and their people in the lab about it so your word will spread. If you did a good job presenting your science, you will get noticed. Your work will, work will get noticed. You will get some awesome feedback for your next research and most importantly you will get attention of someone important. This someone important will actually give you a ticket for the next meeting on which you can give an oral presentation and in get into this positive feedback loop of people appreciating your work. Since you are going to different meetings and conferences and you are presenting yourself and your work, you are going to expand your professional network. And most importantly, your name is going to get the face. And that's really important because people like to collaborate with other people that they know. So this would open the door to collaborations, to some fruitful collaboration that will further enhance your career. So from the first day of your PhD, use every chance to give a talk and always bring your poster along. Giving a talk will provide you with a chance to get the broader audience attention. And having a poster with you will also provide you with a mean to discuss details of your research with the experts in your field. It is extremely important that you realize that you have to work equally hard on your science and on your scientific visibility. 
So in addition to working hard in a lab, having some great ideas, working on them and publishing good, you need to go out in the world, present yourself, present your work. If you follow this advice, don't be surprised if your career all of a sudden rockets.